past couple of years, I let people on my <clears throat> in on my life a little bit. And a lot of people know that I was abandoned at eight. But what nobody knows is that when I was 10, they tried giving me back to my mama. Well, it lasted about two days and the government decided to take me away from her because of food neglect. We didn't have food um, and so we weren't eating at all. And I swore that my daughter would never ever know what that feels like and uh the past few months since i haven't been able to work we've embarrassingly had to get on government assistance to help with food well since we moved we didn't get a couple of our letters in time one letter said we got it increased and the other letter said they canceled it because they needed me to update everything. So this past week, I haven't been able to buy groceries. And it really hit hard when I was buying some oil for the generator <clears throat> and my daughter wanted some ice cream. It was like two bucks. And I had to tell her no and it wasn't because she didn't need it or I didn't want to give it to her. It was that I didn't have two dollars to give to her to buy some ice cream. We don't have money for groceries right now. And I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. We don't have the space to put a lot of groceries and so we have to go to the grocery store every couple of days that's the way it was because our fridge is really small we don't have a lot of space to put food so it's easy to say to go to these places that give food but most of them are about an hour away from me but even then we have no place to put that food that's why it was a little more convenient to have money or the food card because we would just go to the store every couple of days when we were in town to come home with groceries for the next couple of days because we could only hold about a couple of days worth of food. I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't work. That's why I filed disability. My wife works all the time, way too much. And she's not making enough money to pay her bills, let alone buy groceries. We need support, we need help. Not judgment, I, I get a lot of that. It's like people look like, well, you've been hurting for so long. Well, yeah, we've been hurting for so long. Has anybody ever tried to get on disability? It doesn't take overnight. It takes a while. And I tried not to get it. But the problem was, is when I was working, as soon as I got off, I was absolutely useless. I laid in bed. So I'd work 40, 45 hours a week and the rest of the week I was in bed. Hurting in extreme pain. I could barely walk. But I couldn't use my cane at work because people would notice and I'd probably end up losing my job. I don't know what to do. If anybody has any ideas, any plans, I have a GoFundMe. I have a, a Cash App. Every once in a while, somebody might donate something, and it's helps. It helps a lot. But most people just ignore it, to be honest. Most people ignore me. It's amazing how many people just disappear. Hell, the church I was going to, both churches I went to, not a single person calls me. 
checks out. Nobody asked why I quit going to church. And I was a very active member of that church. And not a single person calls me and asks me. Besides the two people that know why. And they're not the type to tell people what's going on. But beyond all that drama, I don't know how to feed my daughter. And I'm begging for help. Help me feed my daughter. If somebody does that, you'll be a hero in my eyes. I don't deserve it, but my daughter does. I won't be in this position forever or for long, but I'm in this position now. And I will pay it forward. Even if nobody helps me, I'm still going to pay it forward. I'm going to help other people. The irony, which has not escaped me, that I started this homestead to help people that are hurting. They can't get any food. Can't get ministry. Not the kind that they need. And yet, I'm in that boat right now. We need food. We need ministry that we can't get at churches. Stay in peace. Stay in love.